Okay. I guess that's uh, recording already. So what I want to first do is show you how to get your graphs onto your website and trying to keep some integrity to them and color, adding color. So first I am going to open up your folder or the folder on the desktop or laptop that has the graphs in it. So we'll here click on energy directions folder and then open up any folder right now just to show you how this works. Then I'm going to go into uh, another window open and open up my Google Drive. Now if you don't have Google Drive as a service, I would recommend, actually I won't recommend, I'd say you have to create an account for Google Drive and set up your own Google Drive. That way this could work. And even if you don't do this, there's a lot of things to do with Google Drive that uh, that are great for business. So, for example, I'll go to Google Drive here, and if you don't have it, it'll force you to open up an account, and you'll have to go step again. But here we are on Google Drive, and I'm going to open up there the folder for energy directions as well. Basically, Google Drive is the same thing as your online your your desktop. Uh, file system and I have similar files right here. So first I'm going to create a drawing and I'm going to say create and share it because I want it to have the same permissions as every other uh, drawing in that folder and then whatever folder I want to, whatever, whatever file I want to work with, let's just take the top one I could just drop it right here and Google Drawing creates the graph. Um, it creates it as an image so you can edit a little bit but mainly it's just sitting here like a sheet of paper. But from here I can take it and I can add some text with the text tool. This is great for putting up a legend millions of barrels which is a common legend that you have and if I'd like to add something like a colored line that's not too difficult either I just choose the squiggle the scribble up top and then easily just trace whatever line uh, you don't have to be too exact because people are just want the flavor of where the line's going, I believe. Um, once it's done, in black in particular here, you could change the color of it. If you're gonna work with more than one line, you have a whole array of lines here. So if I wanted to color all of these, I would've just went right down the line, picking each, each individual color for each line. Uh, from there, if I want, I could make it a little bit thicker. And then I want to give it a title. So if I know I'm working on energy direction or energy assessment, I can't remember the exact thing, but basically just like this. Or actually, let's give it a date. There's We haven't really determined how all of the uh, the filing systems will be set up and organized, but probably by date since that's what you're doing and mostly by. I'm just guessing. Oh, December 12th. I don't have to guess, it's right up there. There. So, then I can go up to file and say publish and say start publishing. It says so you want to start publishing this? I say yes I do. So now it's given me some codes and I could take those codes and go over to let's copy one. Actually let's take this uh, document link here 
this HTTPS one. And copy or cut it, doesn't matter. <clears throat> then we will take your website and we will go in and open. No, hold on a sec. <clears throat> the admin area <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> and I'm just gonna throw this in a new post so if you're writing up your post and you've got some some text down here put your picture in, you add media, and you insert from URL, and you paste that image that we had created in Google Drive. So there we have it. It's actually in the post. And if we wanted to put it the left of that text I'll just drag it to you can see my cursor it's huge but it's it's there it's to the left of the text now and then I could left justify it in the text because I'm goes up top so that'll help the text to flow around it but the important part is seeing how your graph actually got put up there now this looks a little fuzzier um, that's probably because I made it larger in the Google Doc um, so I'll create another video or I'll, I'll play around with it after I end this and then create another video if that, if that could be corrected.